At the 2015 South Atlantic Well Drillers Jubilee in Myrtle Beach, Atlas Copco unveiled its brand new Diamondback Modular Drilling Rig. On the trade show floor, Alex Grant shared what makes it special. So what we're trying to do is get, get ourselves into other markets as well as the water well market. So we're looking at the mining market, the exploration side, and uh, some of the coring markets as well. Um, so what we had with the modularity was the ability to, to really configure and change the options on the rig to suit the, the different markets that it needed to be drilling in. Um, a water well driller wouldn't need as many of the options that a, an exploration driller would need, so we can easily take the, uh, these options off and, and get it down to the, the requirements of a water well driller, and that's what we really saw with the modularity was to keep it flexible. Um, the other thing with the modularity is we don't always know what the new rules and regulations are going to be in the future, and for that reason we can bolt stuff on very easily as and when we need to. So our engineers can design new features for the rig and the customer can unbolt the existing uh, feature that they have and put a, a new feature on which would perhaps be better or meet different market needs as well. One thing that we've looked at is a customer typically in the water well business will look to change their rig quite a bit after they get the rig and that's where some of this modularity should come in as well that they can easily bolt extra components onto the rig with not too much adaption to the, the rig itself and our base rig already has the, the plumbing for the hydraulics and the electrical wiring in for all the options that we offer. So, so even if the customer doesn't take those options, they can bolt their own options in place of where we would have an option and can, can configure the rig to, uh, to how they want it to be for their own drilling requirements. The feedback's been very good. Um, you know, I think the, the, the FLP panels that we have on the rig, which are optional, uh, have been uh, very different for the drillers that we normally sell rigs to, and they, they see that it looks like a very expensive rig, even, even though it's uh, cheaper than our TH60 uh, range at the moment. So I think the perception of the look of the rig is that it, it's a, it's a good-looking rig. The Diamondback is currently in the pre-production stage. It's slated for an official launch at the National Groundwater Association's December 2015 convention in Las Vegas.